Welcome to our lecture online. Well, sometimes we need cube roots or square roots to solve for particular variables. That will be the case in this, in this example where the volume, V stands for volume, is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. This is the volume of a sphere and the equation, I should say, for the volume of a sphere. So they say that if V is 44, find the value for r and we're going to approximate pi to be 22 over 7. It's actually pretty close to that. So first we need to solve this for r. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 to get rid of the fraction. So this is 3 times 3 times 3. So we get 3v is equal to the 3's cancel 4 pi r cubed. Next we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of the r cubed that is 4 pi. 4 pi so when we do that, we get 3v divided by 4 pi is equal to r cubed. Or we can turn the equation around and write that r cubed is equal to 3v divided by 4 pi. And finally, to get r, we need to take the cube root of both sides. So we take the cube root of the left side and the cube root of the right side. Of course, the cube root of r cubed is simply r, and that equals the cube root of 3v divided by 4 pi. Now we have to plug in what those things are equal to to see what r is equal to. So we have again r is equal to the cube root of 3v divided by 4 pi. So let's plug in what these are equal to. So r is equal to the cube root of 3 times v which is 44 divided by 4 times pi, and pi was to be taken as 22 over 7. So when I divide by a fraction, the same as multiplying by its inverse, so we can say that r is equal to the cube root of 3 times 44 times 7, because dividing by 22 over 7 is the same as multiplying by 7 over 22, so this becomes 4 times 22. Now we need to simplify things. First of all, 22 and 44, they simplify, so this becomes 1, and this becomes 2, and a 4 and a 2, the, the 2 becomes a 1, and the 4 becomes a 2. So now let's see what we have left. r is equal to the cube root of 3 times 7, which is 21, divided by 2. Now this can be writ written as the cube root of 21 over, oh, actually that's not what I wanted to do. Let me re reset myself here. What I want to do is separate it as a cube root of 21 in the numerator divided by the cube root of 2 in the denominator. <clears throat> the only thing that's left to do now is to rationalize the denominator. So what we need to do is we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the cube root of 4. Why the cube root of 4? Because 2 times 4 is 8, and I can take the cube root of 8, which is 2. So this can be written as the cube root of 4 times 21, which is uh, 84, divided by the cube root of 8. And of course, the cube root of 8 is 2. I don't think we can do anything with anything else, so we simply leave this as the cube root of 84, divided by 2 as the most simplified form of that particular problem. Of course, if we had a calculator, we can actually calculate what that is equal to, but for this exercise, it's sufficient to simplify it as much as we possibly can, like we've been doing in this set of simplifying radical expressions. And that is how it's done.